we need to sketch a graph here. This equation right here, x equals 2 plus cos t and y equals negative 3 plus sine t. What we're going to do instead is graph a slightly easier set of equations. And what we're going to do is graph x equals cos t and y equals sine t. And also our t values go between 0 and 2 pi, which is the normal uh, interval that we would use. And if we sketch this graph, this just creates a unit circle. When you plug in 0, so this is t equals 0, you have the point 1, 0, because cosine of 0 is 1, sine of 0 is 0, so you have 1, 0. If you plug in pi over 2, t equals pi over 2, you're up here. t equals pi, you're over here negative one zero and t equals three pi over two you're down at the bottom and I could draw a better circle the circle looks like this the orientation is this way it's counterclockwise all right so what we did is we graphed a easier set of equations now let's look at the ones we're actually supposed to graph what's the difference well x has a plus 2. So what's that going to do? It's going to take whatever the value of t is and it's going to add 2 to it. So the old the circle we originally drew had a center of 0, 0. This new circle is going to be shifted 2 to the right. And what happens over in the y variable, we're going to go down 3. Shift down 3, so 2 to the right and down 3. Here's our new center. This after we're shifting, so the center is now 2, negative 3. The good news is once you take care of the shift, it's the same cosine t sine t that we're used to. So you're going to have these points, the same t values as when we graphed before, and this circle is going to be counterclockwise. That's a bad circle, but it's as good as I can draw at the moment. So there's our graph. Now how do you actually graph that? You definitely want to use the circle tool. You start with the center, and then the other point you're going to draw on the circle, you could use any of these four points that I put on here to draw that. That's how to draw your circle. Now the second part, is it clockwise or counterclockwise? Well, we saw before when we carefully drew it out that it's a counterclockwise orientation.